Hi everybody, welcome back to Microsoft Flight Simulator for the Xbox Series S, or this video could just as well apply to the Xbox Series X and the PC as well. And what I want to do in this video is show you how you can find um, latitude and longitude coordinates from uh, like Google Earth, Google Maps, um, and places like Wikipedia, so you can travel to some really interesting places and have a look around some really interesting places that are in the Microsoft Flight Simulator, but there might not be a point of interest for them. Um, so this could be your house, <laughs> you know, or it could be could be something else because we can put in this box up here, we can put latitude and longitude in the decimal format. So let's go and see how we get those um, latitude and longitude coordinates. So what we've got here is this is my laptop and I'm in Google Maps and you could be in Google Earth, but Google Maps is pretty good because it's kind of you can zoom around and go anywhere you want. And you can turn on the um, satellite imagery. And wherever you click, wherever you left click, you'll see at the bottom it gives you the exact latitude and longitude of, of where you've just clicked. Now, it does this in the mobile uh, version as well. When you're on your Android phone or iOS, if you tap somewhere, it'll give you those coordinates. And that's what we're interested in. Uh, so, for example, Burr Oak Township in South Dakota, USA is 44.22759, comma, minus 98.628643 so this is a really good way that you can find say your house because you you know you can find the town you're in and google maps has um, a lot more detail than the uh, world view in um the world map in, in in flight simulator so you can go right down to say well okay so that's my house there click there and it'll give you the exact longitude so that's one way you can get those figures the other way is if you go somewhere like um wikipedia um, so, for example, I, I thought, let's fly around the Nevada nuclear test site. Let's see what that looks like. Let's see what information is there. Because I was kind of testing the idea that maybe they didn't include certain things in the map. So, Nevada test site. And if you have a look around, you'll find often the coordinates of, of where it is. Now, this is in the format of degrees, uh, minutes, and seconds. But in Wikipedia, if you click on the... Uh, the coordinates it takes you another site that gives you the decimal version the one that we want 37.116667 comma so what we can do now is if we go back over to flight simulator now you have to bear with me with this because i'm having to hold my phone in one hand and use my controller if we move the cursor up to the search box there we go and now we need to put these the, the things into what is it's 37 Point one one start off there. It's a lot easier if you've got a keyboard plugged in. Please, oop, wrong one. Thirty-seven point one one treble six. One two three seven. Then there's a comma, and now we need to put a minus in, so I'll press the left trigger to bring up those, minus, and left trigger again, get back to the numbers, 116.05, so that's 116.05. Five, hit the three lines button, and then you get the search results pop up here. So then you just need to go down to click because it's converted it into degrees, minutes, and seconds. Click on that, it zooms in, and there we are at the Nevada test site. Um, so if we go down to fly, oh, sorry, so then you need to, so it says custom. So you click on there, so set as departure, and we can click on fly. And there you can, you can see this amazing place where they exploded in the Nevada des desert, hundreds of nuclear bombs, and you can fly around it. Um, let's see if we can see a better view. There we go. There's all the craters. What a scary place, eh? Look at that. So there we go, peeps. That's how you can find 
uh, easily find, fly to, fly from anywhere in the world in Microsoft Flight Simulator for Xbox Series S, Series X or the PC, use a combination of Google Maps or Google Earth and places like Wikipedia um, to, to find where you want to go and have a great fun exploring. So there we go. So as you're finding cool places to search and you've got coordinates, put them in the put the coordinates in the description below the video with, with the description of, of what it is where you've gone. Um, and maybe we can share some of the information around and have some uh, and have some fun exploring some unusual places on this wonderful world of ours in this amazing game of ours. Anyway, that's enough from me. If you've enjoyed the video, hit like. If you want to see more of the same, press subscribe. And I will, of course, see you again soon.